All right, here's a, a video to help you with um, this problem. Chapter 6, the review, page 389, number 9. This is one of those airplane bearing problems. So let me um, help you get it set up and get you on your way. All right, so an airplane is headed on a bearing. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw myself a bearing. All right, so the airplane is headed on a bearing, 160 degrees, so we'll draw that kind of like that so there is a hundred and sixty degrees and um, let's see that airspeed is 400 all right and the true course well that has a different bearing so let's draw the true course there we go and then that bearing is uh, 172 there we go 172 and then the length of that vector is, let's see here, 430. All right, so you eventually want to find um, the wind. There's the wind right there. We'll just call that side um, A. And then eventually you're going to want to find this bearing of the wind right there. Okay. So um, I'm sure you can come up with alpha here, uh, but the difference between 160 and 172 is 12, so alpha is going to be 12 degrees. And then you're going to use the law of cosines to find A, so I'll, uh, you'll probably be able to do that one okay. And that turns out to be about 91.75, and I think the units are miles per hour. All right, now the trick is to find the bearing, and this is the bearing that we want um, right down here, the bearing of the wind. All right, this is kind of a, a tricky one here. Let me um, erase some stuff here and kind of see if I can make it a little clearer. All right, so let's draw our bearing symbol again. There's our bearing symbol. Um, I'm just going to draw that one in right now, okay? So remember that this bearing symbol of the airplane is parallel to this bearing symbol. And you can use the law of sines to calculate, we'll call this gamma. Um, and when you calculate gamma, remember you have two cases. And so when you do the law of sines, you get 77.02 degrees or. 180 minus that, and 180 minus that is 102.98, and that is the more reasonable one. Um, how do we know this is the more reasonable one? Well, because it's got to be, it's greater than 90 degrees. Um, how do we know that's the more reasonable one? Greater than 90 degrees, it's got to be obtuse. This is going to be your longest side, um, so then you know that this has got to be the greatest angle, gamma, rather than beta. All right, so you can calculate it that way. All right, so let's let me take a couple of those things out of there. All right, so 180. All right, so if we know gamma is 180, um, and we know these two red lines are parallel to each other. And then we know that, um, let's see, let me draw this in red right here. So this, no, let me pick a different color. All right, so this part right here in kind of a magenta, well, that's 180 minus 160, so that's 20. So therefore, this is 20. All right, now remember, I want to find this all the way around here. So the whole circle is 360 degrees. So if I take my 360, I minus my 20, and then I minus gamma, but I got to minus the second case. So that's the 102.98. And when you do all that, you end up with, oh, I don't know, I think it's 237. I don't have the exact one there, but 237, something like 237. So that is the bearing of the wind.